Isn't it nice some mornings just to hit the snooze button? What a wonderful feeling that is when you can just have a little extra time. Maybe you're extra tired or stayed up too late or have so many things going on. It's tough to face the day. Now, once in a while, that might be okay. But we certainly don't want to hit the spiritual snooze button. There are so many passages in the Bible that talk about the fact that, that we need to be spiritually alert. We need to be ready to get up and get going. I'm reminded of that passage that's in the book of Revelation. In chapter 3, it tells us that sometimes we can be snoozing spiritually. God talks about not being hot or cold, not being turned on to the truth of God. Boy, we can't allow ourselves to get into that kind of position. In fact, there's even a proverb that says a, a little slumber, a little sleep, a little folding of the hands, and bad things are a result of that. So we can never allow ourselves to get into that kind of spiritual state of mind. In fact, there's an encouraging passage that's over in the book of Galatians. Let's take a, take a look over there in the book of Galatians, chapter 6. And beginning in verse 8, the Good News Translation says this. It says, if you plant a field of your natural desires, from it you'll gather a harvest of death, which is kind of like hitting that spiritual snooze button over and over and over again. But it goes on, if you plant in the field of the Spirit, from the Spirit you'll gather a harvest of eternal life. So that's what we're striving for. That means we've got to get up. We've got to get going. We've got to get on the move, spiritually speaking. So verse 9 says, let us not become tired of doing good, for if we do not give up, the time will come when we will reap the harvest. So we're told, let's get going. Let's awake out of any spiritual slumber that might come upon us, and let's be ready to go. Now, I think there's an easy way that we can begin to do that very thing. That can be plan our day. Plan your day. Before you go to bed at night, what's up for the next day? What's your plan? What's your plan of attack for making tomorrow that much more of a spiritual day? If we begin to do that very thing, I think that will help us to get up in the morning, to get going, and resist the urge to hit that spiritual snooze button. So let's plan to do just that. Let's put the snooze behind us. That's BT Daily. We'll see you next time.